What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to press a square bound comic book. Alright, so before I get into pressing a square bound comic book and showing you all the steps and all the tools and all the things you need to press this comic book, uh, I just want to talk about the CBCA Awards and I was uh, nominated in the top five with uh, Jerry the Jitterbug, Comic Tom, a lot of other great Immaculate Comics, a lot of other great people out there that do pressing videos. So it's an honor to even be in the conversation with those guys. I, you know, don't think I'm going to win against them, but it's awesome to be in the top five. So you nominated me. I appreciate it. And thank you for that. Um, maybe this video today will help me get over that edge to uh, get a little closer to actually winning that that prize. So. All right, so today, not just any square bound book, I'm be pressing Captain Marvel. Actually, I'm sorry, Marvel Superheroes, Captain Marvel, number 13, first appearance of Carol Danvers. Not just any square bound, right? This is a key book. It's probably one of my, my top books in my collections at the moment that's not graded. So I'm going to take this out so you can see it better, but see how it's nice and square on that end? See, it's a little bit rounded on this end. I don't know if somebody attempted to press this at some point, but this end definitely got a little squished. And the trick to these is real simple. You cannot press the edge of the book. If there's glue in the edge of the book, it'll heat up, it'll melt, it'll crush it, it'll make it round and oval, and you don't want that. You want to keep it square. Easier said than done, but I'm gonna walk you through the steps. All right, so the first thing you need is a press. And this press, I'll leave the description in the link, which like I do in all my videos. This press is not a clamshell press. This is a up and down press. So you don't smush the book apart when you press it. This is an Amazon special. This is like a $130 press. I think it does what it needs to do. It does a great job. You've seen it in one of my other videos. Metal plate on the bottom, which prevents you from using extra backer boards when pressing. Instead, you have metal, metal, you have a little bit of cushion underneath so you don't squish the book too much to alleviate some of that squishing of the book. So that's the first part, first thing you need. So while, while we're waiting, I'm gonna turn this on. I am gonna set this to 150 degrees for this book. And then I'm going to walk you through the other things that you need to use when pressing not just a square bound, but any comic book. All right, so to clean a book, this is the back cover of the book. Um, I always like the white eraser pens. Reason being, they don't leave any other colored residue if you're erasing. I only recommend using an eraser on a white color, because if you use an eraser on an actual colored surface... It will take some of that color off. So I already started doing this a little bit, just trying to get some of this dirt and grime off the back. Um, it does help. Especially along the edges. From greasy fingers, people reading it. Now, I usually do this on a counter, but it's difficult to get the right camera angle. That's why I'm doing it on this little podium here for you to show you how it's done. If you notice, I'm not hitting any of the black ink because I do not want to take that off. I already tried hitting that and it's not, it's not going anywhere. So these are cotton rounds. They look like this. These can be found in any cosmetic store. I think I bought, bought this big thing on uh, Amazon for the whole big thing of it. It's basically just a cotton swab. Almost looks like a Stridex pad, but there's nothing to it but cotton. Usually when I'm done cleaning it, I always like to try to wipe it down. There's no residue on it. 
They do not want to press that residue into the book with heat because that would not go well. See that stubborn stuff's not coming off. Definitely a little bit cleaner than it was. It's also this product here called Absorine. Uh, I typically use this on colored surfaces that might have some light staining on it. It does help take some of that off. The one thing I would warn with this, you know, it's reusable over and over again. Um, I did use this on a water damaged book thinking I was going to clean the cover with it and it literally pulled the ink right off of it. So if you have a water damaged book, do not use this product. Um, but any other book I never had an issue with. So it was just that one time, but this is a great product. I'm not showing you today cause I'm not using it, but sometimes I do use this. And after I use it, I do the same thing with the, the cotton round, wipe the whole book down with the cotton round, make sure the book is nice and clean. Okay. So to separate the cover from the book, I use silicone parchment paper. Same thing. I think I bought this on Amazon. It was a pack of probably a hundred. I think it was like 15 bucks, something like that. Um, I do occasionally use the Teflon sheets because those are reusable depending on the book. Um, these are not reusable. Usually once you press, you see they kind of get wrinkled and you want to do not use them again because that could have an effect on the next book you press with them. Um, so I'm going to pull a couple of these out. I'm going to put some in the book this book i am not going to use a backer board because there's no center staples but i am going to put a couple of these sheets in between some of the pages to kind of make up some of that that difference so when i press it it makes up the void from the size of the square bound and the size of the book if that makes sense okay so i got one inside the front cover one inside the back cover a few in the middle i'm gonna have one at the bottom of the press i'm gonna have one on the top of the press so let's go back to the press and i'll show you how that's going to look Okay, so it's preheated. So if you see this curling, that's because it's already already preheated. Get that on there. One on top. This is the tricky part because I want to make sure this square bound part is not on the metal at all. I already lined up this plate with the top, so when I swing it around, you can see the square bound is sticking out of the edge because you do not want to heat that up too much or you will melt that glue. Okay, so one thing I forgot to say before, I only had this under heat for eight minutes. After eight minutes, I shut the press off. I let it cool off until it's ice cold. Typically three hours minimum. Most of the time I just let it sit overnight. So I know it's cold. Today I did it earlier in the evening. So now it's later in the night. I know this is ice cold. It's been in here probably three and a half, four hours cold so now i'm going to take it out um because some people use a cold press they take it out and they put it under something that's cold so it doesn't revert back i don't really like doing that i don't have a cold press and even if i did have a cold press i don't think i would try that technique with a square bound book because i do not <clears throat> excuse me i do not want to squish that square bound any more than it already is so take this book out let's take a look at what it looks like i should have done a before and after picture but it totally slipped my mind
All right, you can see it. It's a tiny bit better. Not not too much. Um, and this is a book I really don't want to mess with too much. You can see it's still nice and square on the top. It's still a little old on the bottom. Nothing I can do about that. Um, I may try this one more time lightly. Uh, it's just difficult to book the press. I mean, if you look, I don't know if that was for me or that was there. When you start heating that glue up, it, it, it'll it gunk together and just do bad things. So super, super tricky book to press. If I do attempt to press it again, I'm probably going to leave about a half an inch sticking out the next time. So I'm away from that spine. Um, but either way, this book I am sending out to get graded. Uh, very very soon because this is just just an awesome book awesome first appearance so either way hope you like this video i'll leave description i'll leave a link in the description of all the materials including the press including the metal plate uh so if anybody is interested in trying to press on their own you could you could realistically start pressing books for about 150 bucks um you'll be surprised with the results i mean it, it takes time you got to play with it uh, sometimes you too much heat you take them out too quick because you want to see what they look like but trial and error trust me leave them in there as long as you can make sure that press is nice and cold before you take them out because you take them out too early you're going to throw them in a bag you're going to pull them back out but whoa what happened it's going to shrink back to the normal uh book that it was or not quite but almost it'll, it'll revert back to some degree uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, click that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to vote for me on the CBCA Awards. Never know. Maybe I'll pull it off this year. See you guys next time.